Hey guys, Tyler here. Today I'm playing Mini Metro, a popular minimalist train simulator. It's been out for a while, and it's a game I played in my free time a little bit. And the reason why I'm visiting it on video is because the creators of this game are coming out with a new game called Mini Motorways this month. So I kind of want to get back into the mini minimalist simulator kind of mood. So for those who don't know this game, this is a game about delivering as many people as possible to various train stations. You have a bunch of lines down here and trains you can add to the track. So you have a yellow line, a red line, and a blue line. And you can connect the various cities of different shapes together. And the object is to make sure that all the tiny little people represented by their shape get to their town of the same shape. You can use multiple trains on a line. You can use multiple lines. It's a game about optimizing and slowly improving your system as the area gets bigger and bigger. Over time, more towns are added. I think there is a fast forward motion so we can get through this right now. Yeah, more, more towns are added, more destinations, and there's gonna be more shapes added as well. So there's gonna be a lot to juggle. Every week, we will get a new addition to our train setup. Maybe it's a different line. Maybe it's more bridges slash tunnels. That's what goes over the water here. Maybe another carriage. And it slowly expands, and it's actually a very deep strategy game, despite its minimalist nature, so I'm gonna try my best. I haven't played this in, I guess, almost, almost the year, but I did play it a little bit before then. So we have a new locomotive, and we could add more, well, let's just take tunnels. We are located in London, it would seem. Here, I'm gonna do a little connection here, then connect down here. Said we're in London, but there's a bunch of different towns, each with their own river layouts and difficulty in some way shape or form let's have this red one help out a bit and the object of the game is to just get as high of a score as possible you can see we have our people output i guess who knows what it really means and that can get up into the hundreds and thousands and just very 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 high numbers whoops now down here we have a kind of messy setup there's three triangles in a row never nice to see but it's what we have we got a new shape it's a quarter circle we can move our rails to a to adjust for that. Now, I should probably slow things down so I could decide whether or not wanna whether or not I want to optimize. Actually, no, we got a new train. We'll take a a new line for the job. These train stations, nothing has gone wrong so far, but over time, if you leave too many people at the station, they're gonna get angry and cause a riot. And you lose if they cause a riot for too long. So we really wanna be on top of that. Now, what I kind of want to do here is a little bit of a shortening of this line. And then I want to use the new line here to just kind of get some of these triangles taken care of. Actually, you know this will even go across the river. This will just kind of come up here. Overall, not too bad. See if we can snag this up here as well. Blue lines taking care of things. So now the only worry is, I guess, all the triangles. So, this is going to come and grab a bunch of triangles. That's always good to see. Maybe I should have this line come all the way up to the square so we can grab some triangles as well. We can see a little countdown. If I can get this yellow line to directly attach to a triangle, that'd be nice too. But you know what? I guess I probably should pick this up. The red line hasn't been having many troubles lately. So, sorting that out would be great. Uh, so, this one's starting to become a bit of an issue. I could just place another train on there if I wanted this to help out. But it looks like this might be able to handle everything. You know what, it actually doesn't handle everything, so I'll just place another train on here, and then I can get this to come up here to help out, and I still gotta figure out what I'm gonna do down here. I could just have blue line help out. Blue line has not had much of an issue lately. All right, we'll speed up a little bit. We're on our final day, and then at some point, I'll have to completely rework everything. So we got a new locomotive, and I think I'll take a new carriage. Yeah, that way things can be managed a lot better. This whole yellow line is just such a mess. I kinda wanna take this blue line, make it into a carriage, or blue train make into a carriage, and I want this yellow. I mean, yellow could go out here. What I might do is short the red line to about here, have the yellow line go out this far, and I think I'll just have the blue line pick up this circle along the way. Now, blue line's getting a little dangerous, so I think we'll help it out with a another train on it. Oh, except these are all circles. Oh, this is just circle land. Something needs to be done about that. Please don't have this be a circle. It's a circle, son of a bitch. How do I remedy this? I feel as though I have to have another line help me out with this. Also, I may need to redirect this over here. No worries. 
We could have yellow go fairly far, maybe through here and up here. Why are you putting squares down there? Oh, well, I guess blues will make it to squares eventually. It's just this town right now is actually really struggling. So hopefully we'll be able to pick those up. If not, then I'll need to... Here's what I'll just do. Just a quick remedy. I need to get the blue line connected to some triangles and other stuff like that. We got pentagons now, too. I will do a grand overhaul eventually, just only once things start getting bad. They're bad right now, but they could be worse. Oh, we finally got a triangle in this vicinity. Let's, you know, let's have the blue line hit that. And I think I'll actually have the yellow line hit it, too. Or maybe I could just do a brand new line. This whole thing is a mess. So what I'm just going to do, I'm going to pause right now, and I'm going to try to restructure this to use the lines a lot better. So you can just completely get rid of everything. And that's what I'm going to straight up do. And then I'll see you once I have completely made a new system. Alright, so I've set up a new system. The main loop is this yellow one. It covers every shape and every thing imaginable. There's a secondary loop, the blue loop. It covers most of the shapes and, you know, the vehicle, the train will just keep going around the shape. Then I got this very short red line that it just handles a bunch of triangle areas. And then this green line, which should hopefully handle some circles underneath the river, which one which I'm covering up with my face cam. And then I got this weird snaky light blue line, which is the biggest mess of everything right now. But I'm hoping that if I just have multiple trains on it and have that be the main just area of focus, I think I'll be all right. Now this thing that popped up, it's pretty bad, no doubt about it. Um, and actually I still have tunnels so I can have this green line help out over here. Green's not doing that much, it's just bridging about. How do I want to get to that? No one actually wants to go there just yet. I mean, I guess the blue line can handle it. Blue line just looks a little ugly right now, and I feel like there's nothing I can do about that. You generally want, like, a nice clean loop without any sharp bends, so if there happens to be not any passengers at a station, the train can just keep moving without having to stop. And now with this adjustment, we, we've cleaned up very nicely. The only long-term fear I have is this light blue line. If there happens to be more population added over here, things are going to get very nasty. But it seems that we're doing all right. Maybe dark blue could use a little help as well. Okay, that one that one could be handled by... It's hard to say what I want. Maybe, maybe yellow line, because yellow line's not doing too bad. And I can set that up, just have an annoying bend here. Seems unfortunately unavoidable. Once I want to pinch this, I could just uninclude that little line so the the loops have changed a little but i think still f efficient new locomotive and now i want more carriages and let's uh let's add a carriage on the light blue line my biggest fear because i'm also about to shift the line so we can go here yeah i would say the trains are almost always going to stop here so i don't mind this being a tight bend uh, you always stop to drop off a blue and we got a plus sign here oh boy right in the middle of blue light blue line light blue line is scaring me and then there's a bunch of teardrops so actually yellow line's looking a little bad right now yeah crazy teardrop action let's try to get yellow line helping out here or helped out rather with the second train yeah very sketchy but i think they'll be cleared up pretty soon mm, i don't know about this actually yellow yellow line it seems to only be getting worse by the second it'll be able to pick up the angry ones but can't say much more than that. And we got a couple of towns popped in while I've been staring at this station right here. I think green line can handle this one. That's not so bad. Up here is a little bit more annoying. Yellow line kind of stinks. I almost want to have something weird. I almost want to have yellow line go here. And then blue line go here and here. Almost intersecting loops, Olympic style. Is it good? I don't know, but it looks cool. Maybe I can have another intersection here. Oh, God, there's a bad station here. Um, Here, let's stop that and <laughs> recognize that I almost lost due to not paying attention. So what do I want to do to remedy that? I would like to have you come over here and pick up these guys. That was close. <laughs> and then, okay, once, once the new week starts, I'll have a new remedy at least. Could go for a new line or a new carriage. I think the lines themselves are still fine. I just want a little bit higher capacity. I think especially on the yellow line and a little bit on the blue line now. 
and I think we should be a little bit better. Although, wow, green line is struggling? Really? I'm not sure what to make of that then, because green line, you better pick up these guys. It's not going to, though. It's going to pass right by them, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one thing I wish I understood better about the game is how to strictly manage these angry ones a little bit better. Oh, they're still angry. Son of a gun. Mm, well, things are looking really bad then. It's probably going to be lights out if I don't do anything right now. All right, I'll move you over here, and we'll hope that you can just pick things up so I don't lose. Pick them up. Thank you. All right. That means there's nobody on red line right now. Let's just take you and bring you back. And then this city right here is already angry. Fantastic. Let's work green line a little bit more. There's so many circles down here. It's underneath my face cam. I'll move, I'll move my ass over here so at least I don't cover up anything. I got to do something about this town that isn't just connecting straight to it. Although I probably have to. And we got a square popping up in here. Oh, this is a disaster. Let me plop one of these down to, for so blue line can catch it. I think I need another line at this point now. Some of the lines are just simply way too long. And also this light blue chain of circles is just absolutely run losing. All right, but we have breached the 1000 barrier already. I, it's a respectable score. Four digits is good in my book for someone who hasn't played in however long I said I haven't played in, a year probably. I'll take the new line and oh, I'm gonna pause this again so I can try to sort this out. I almost want a special line that just hits a lot of the hard to get to cities. So I want it to go through the star, want it to go through the plus, want it to go through this one because it seems like it's just choked up often. And I definitely want it to hit here except I don't have enough tunnels for that. But it's fine. What I can do is have it kind of wrap around like this to the tier thing and then have it hit the triangle. And if I get one more tunnel, I wouldn't mind connecting the pink line. So let's see how much that helps out. What's most of the reds? It seems that there's a good variety of things. So I'm hoping that pink line will help us out a good amount. This whole yellow line's doing okay. That is very out of my way, but at least it lets me clean up the blue line a little. I am always on the lookout for new cities and what needs to improve. It seems that this area is just the center of everything. We got four different lines passing through it. Maybe this red line could be worked a little bit more. What if I have the red line kind of come up here? Just so it can handle its own squares and doesn't need to dump its squares off on the yellow line. Dark blue line, especially up there, kind of stinks. I kind of need another triangle in this area if I can help it. New city co popping in, and of course, it's a circle. You know, yellow line hasn't been so bad lately. But then again, light blue line hasn't been that bad either. Ever since I introduced the pink line, light blue line's been okay, so I'll work it a little bit more. We're ending Saturday, going into Sunday, and not experiencing too much an issue. Okay, dark blue line needs some help ASAP. What if I detach here, have this come over here, and then have this line connect here? So now this is just a weird bastard city, but the parity of things kind of changes a little bit. Here we get to have a kind of triangle, square, and circle within the vicinity of each other, which is quite good. Ooh, all right, so we could add a carriage, increase our capacity, or we can add an interchange. So an interchange is basically just the station that can hold more people. You will be way less likely to have overflow and have angry people at an interchange because it's built to handle more people. I wish Green Line had a little bit more help, but I think I'll just put the tr train there. And I'll wait on the interchange as maybe just the last second lifesaver. Like, if it looks like something's going to lose, I could just convert it into an interchange. It'd be A-OK. -okay. That square I'm not too happy about because I don't have enough tunnels. I would love for Red Line to get there, but it's not going to. Now, oh, this area is actually a huge mess right now. Okay, let's at least have Red help out here. And then I might need to have pink line kind of help out here. But this is looking really bad. I almost wonder if I want to just have this go here and then do a little turnaround. So it's a little bit of micromanagement, but hopefully not too much. This area is just a bit of a big mess. Actually, a whole, whole right side is a massive mess. Oh boy, all right, we're gonna slow this down. I might have to make readjustments part two. There's three bad ones. I can't have one interchange solve everything. I could try to save myself some tunnels, maybe. What I could do is have pink line go here and green line go here, because then red line could at least get this. All right, I'm going to do a total restructure of blue and pink lines, I think. All 
All right, let's see if this does any better. Now, whoa, God. The first thing I need to make sure is that this blue train becomes a pink train to help out this area and then saves it. Yeah, so it's an empty train. Now we'll be able to help that out here. Now this has a little bit of an issue, but at least this one's cleared up. And then we will have to just move one of the trains to over to here. So now I got to work on some of these other cities that just popped up, like this green city down here, or one that'll be handled by the green line. Red line, I think, is just going to shorten a bit. And then I'm going to keep focusing on this area up here. Hopefully this train will help out shortly. It does. This is looking pretty bad, though, and I'm looking to see if I lose, will I be able to get a my thing up in time? And actually, this looks pretty bad, so I might just have to... Yeah, I'm just going to have to make this bigger. That's a shame. A little bit of a just attempt to clutch in hopes that I can hold out for the next week. As you can see, the anger levels are going down. Here, we might be able to get a little bit of something. It's just I'm leaving some cities out to dry, which is not long-term sustainable whatsoever. I think dark blue needs the most help. And actually, this green one's looking exceptionally bad. I don't think there's much I can actually do here unless I want to move some around. No, game over. We got 1636 passengers traveling on my metro. Uh, not bad. We can look at our overall metro map in the meantime. It's it's a nice work of art. Art. There's a lot of stuff worth improving on, including just optimization of rails, which I have yet to fully achieve, but it's, it's a neat run. And I'm excited for the new mini motorways game. It seems like it's a, a more involved version of this game, and... I guess it's been out for a while. I didn't even talk about the mini motorways. All I know is that it's been out on Apple Arcade for a year, but nobody uses Apple Arcade, so no one's cared. And now it's coming out to Steam this month. So it'll be fun to play that then. Hope you guys enjoyed this little mini Metro in the meantime. And with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.